Frosty Boy is one of Australia's most iconic companies. For decades, its soft serve ice cream has remained popular with children at home and around the world. It's so synonymous with people going to the beach, seeing the ice cream vans. In this lab, researchers are busy creating exotic new flavours. And over recent decades, Frosty Boy researchers have perfected variations on a theme, even with classic vanilla. We manufacture more than 80 different vanilla ice creams here at Frosty Boy. And that is really working with the international flavour houses when we start to develop a product for a specific country to work out which is the most popular vanillas in that market. It's that attention to detail which has helped Frosty Boy grow its global footprint. We manufacture around 1.5 to 2 million serves of ice cream per day. Rainbow dust, is it? Rainbow dust, absolutely. That's good. Uh, that we currently sell to around 65 countries. The export side of the business has taken off under Dirk's 20-year leadership, but in the end, it's the flavour that really counts. The process of creating good quality products always starts with the right ingredients. We always try to source local, so most of our dairy comes out of Australia. There is some of it that comes out of New Zealand as well. The business is based on the vision of three entrepreneurs who started Frosty Boy on Queensland's Gold Coast back in the late 70s. It had a long shelf life um, and it was tasting great. And you know, to, still, till today, we still use some of those original recipes. And there's a secret to its success. Our ice cream products are all made in powder form. It's a big benefit for the customer. They literally only add water to it, stir it up for 30 seconds, and then they can put it in the machine and off they go. The product is ready to use. During COVID, Frosty Boy has found new ways to slow ice cream melting, an important feature as demand for home delivery rose. So if they can get that delivered at home and still get that nice cream Makes texture, for a better day, right there. a better day. <laughs> Excellent. Frosty Boy has also diversified its product range to include beverages, including hot chocolate and chai teas, and a health booster. It is a nutritional supplement with immune support properties, and the timing for it was just right. So we managed to bring a product to market in four months, from packaging design all the way through. However, like many Australian exporters, Frosty Boy was impacted by the pandemic. One of the challenges that we did face with COVID with our customer base was that a lot of the quick service restaurants went into lockdown, which obviously caused our sales to drop as well. And with COVID, it's especially hard for us because we can't travel. Despite the travel restrictions, Austrade helped to secure a new business through its vast international network. The Australian government has uh, committed over $72 million to a program called the Agribusiness Expansion Initiative. And that has allowed us to build up our network offshore so that we can help innovative exporters pivot in response to things like COVID or, or disruptions to, to market access. Working with Austrade, Frosty Boy was able to secure new and lucrative outlets in Africa. It's such a big market, you know, I think it's 200 million plus people in Nigeria and when we started to do the work with Austrade, uh, we looked at a few different markets and Nigeria was obviously a standout. Nigeria is hard, the regulatory side of things. So working through that and working out what we need to do and getting it into the country, um, they've been an absolutely amazing help on opportunities that come up with your knowledge base. Yeah, look, um, I mean, it's been, uh, it's been a delight working with you. I know Frosty Boy has been able to export their product into Nigeria. And even while the product is on the water, uh, the customer has already made their second purchase order for another container load of products. With freight congestion easing slightly as international borders reopen, exporters like Frosty Boy are ready to expand on new contacts, ensuring long-term growth. I think we've got an amazing future here. We're already seeing that COVID is sort of moving on and we're starting seeing markets opening up but we'll be a much stronger business moving forward because of all the work that we have done now.